Welcome to Yosemite National Park. So we arrived here last night and the drive here was actually really beautiful. We drove through snow falling and uh, there was a lot of snow in the higher elevations actually. Um, by the time we got to the camp, the lodge, um, we it was too dark so we couldn't really see anything but we got some good views here and their visibility was a little bit low because it was very foggy and, and pretty snowy. So nice. today is completely different. We have a super clear day and it's sunny and beautiful and the and sun is warm it, yeah it's yep. warm so it's pretty it's actually feels kind of mild yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been bare I haven't worn my gloves for the last hour or so yeah. so we're just out shooting uh, this is our first full day of shooting with McKay Photography Academy uh, we spent the morning just kind of getting started making sure especially talking about histograms yes make sure we're all on the same page about that because these are fairly tricky conditions to be photographing they in are, yeah. bright sun snow covered ground so there's a lot of contrast there's you've got really bright highlights in the snow being lit by the sun and then you've got pretty dark shadows in the trees and so there's a lot of contrast and it's really important to make sure that you have enough detail to uh, in the photo so that you're not blowing out your highlights or your shadows. And, and how does the histogram help you with that? Well the histogram so right now it's really hard to tell whether or not your photo is bright enough or dark enough because of the sun and the LCD screen isn't very reliable on its own but if you look at your histogram and you can see that you're not clipping on the highlights, you're not clipping your highlights or your shadows, um, then you can ensure that you have enough tonal range to really bring any highlights and any shadows back up right. or down. And, That's yeah. right. Once you blow those out, they're gone. And no matter how fancy your Lightroom is, no matter how fancy your camera is, that detail is not recoverable. So it's important to check that stuff out. Yeah, so we've been just going around and making sure that everyone understands that. And we've been doing some shooting of our own as well. And we're just getting started, so. That's right. Tomorrow's forecast, very snowy. So we're trying to cover as much of the kind of valley park area as we can today, really capturing the highlights. Yeah, so let's get going, I guess. Let's get going. All right, so we're about to wrap up our first day of shooting with McKay Photography Academy here in Yosemite National Park. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Want to talk about our last stop before this one? Uh, yes, yeah, so we drove up a little ways to a place called Tunnel View, which is a, an overlook where you can see pretty much all of the peaks, I guess. So you yeah. can see El Capitan, you can see uh, Half Dome, and then a bunch of other stuff. It's gorgeous. It was just beautiful, beautiful view up there. Yeah, well, we're gonna try to go back, but we went tonight, just in case we don't get, we have really good visibility today. Yeah. So um, we, we'd like to go back, but we're not sure if we're gonna have as good visibility. So we just wanted to make sure that we went there right. today. And I'm not sure when you're composing shot, can they see? Uh, oh, they should be able to, yeah. See, um, Half Dome Half behind dome us. right behind us right now. So we're Pretty up cool. on this bridge photographing there's a even though it's cold but it's you know it hasn't been super below freezing here so this running water of this little stream is still moving we set up on this bridge and folks are taking longer shutter exposures uh, kind of getting the blurry water with a little bit of a reflection of half dome in it as you know there isn't any direct light on half dome but it still is um i'm gonna call it lit up and quite beautiful and i think Very we're gonna beautiful. finish up here yep I think so too. Tomorrow, as we said, big snowstorm forecast or well, snow forecast. We'll probably see. be spending a lot of time focusing on details. Uh, the pine trees covered in snow, the snowy streams, because we won't be getting the vistas if the snow is coming down. That's right. Yeah. So I guess we'll check back in. Catch you on the flip flop, as they say here in Yosemite. <laughs> We're on. You want to sit on the, you want to stand on the higher part? No. Okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, I guess. You're gonna look so short? So this is your better side? Yeah. Okay, you're short. We're well into day two of our shooting with uh, McKay Photography Academy. Where's all the snow? 
It was supposed to snow buckets today. Woke up last this morning night. to, and last night, woke up this morning to mostly blue sky. Yeah. We headed up to the lower Yosemite Falls. There is an amazing view of down the pathway to the falls of both the upper and lower. That was awesome. Yep. It was really cool. We did uh, some time lapses there and uh, some, I think some people put on neutral density filters and try to do some slow shutters. Yep. Stuff. Yeah. Where the light was in and out. Um, I heard some people, uh, Randy said he was shooting about 30 seconds with his, he's got like a neutral density, I think an eight. So, you know, I think it was Brent who recently sent me an article about don't need to shoot every waterfall with a really slow shutter speed. Yeah, I, I would very, definitely agree with that. He was being very nice about it. So I didn't shoot any longer exposures at that waterfall. Uh, I shot shorter, uh, kind of captured that motion. Or sorry, I mean, yeah, you're still capturing the motion of the water. You're just not turning it into that dreamy blur. Yeah. Fantastic view though. Again, hard to tell scale. I've been shooting a lot today with the little Olympus Air. That's um, mostly because I've hijacked the Sony to do b-roll of stuff so that's true yeah uh but i don't i don't mind yeah. um this and in my little peak design field pouch i don't know a if people can immerse. see that um i've got three other lenses for it so it's just a fantastically small and light system to walk around with ironically i have a gigantic think tank backpack and another shoulder bag that's yeah. carrying all of the gear that we're using to record this plus other bits but when you want to travel light this has been a lot of fun to use. Yeah. And uh, we're and now, on okay. On the flip side, actually, I just want people, tell people about what I'm, uh, I am brought with me. I have this oh, yeah. Ona bag, uh, and I have my 5D Mark III with 85 and a 50 millimeter lens, and I'm constantly switching between the two. But I, I've also put the Olympus on in the bag and carry that along with me, as well as the DxO one, which I'm actually not using that much because I don't love it very much. But... Yeah, so that, that's right. what I've been carrying. And it's really ironic that you have to charge the DX01 with an, I'm going to call it an Android cable. It's micro USB, um, but it's something that somebody who uses an iPhone is not going to have lying around. And so right away, you have to have an additional cable to keep that little camera thing happy. So Yeah, so anyway, Yeah. it looks like it's starting to drizzle right now. It is, so. and, and it's, the clouds are starting to move in. We interrupt all of this fantastic outdoor photography to make sure people know that we aren't really roughing it that much. And why do you think that people think that? Because somebody on Twitter just asked if we're sleeping in tents. Oh, okay. No, so not. raise your glass. Here we're um, crashing the lobby of the Alwani Hotel. And I'm having a firefall, some kind of spicy hot chocolate alcoholic drink. We're having a nice glass of wine. We're sitting by the fire, there's a guy playing piano behind us. It's not rough. It's not rough. I actually want to talk for a moment about how we would capture a scene like this. A uh, huge vista. So first thing I think about is my aperture. I'm going to set that to something nice and deep, uh, f8 is a good start, f9, f10 is fine. I probably don't need to go beyond that when we're focusing so far off in the distance. Next, I wanna check my shutter speed and make sure it's fast enough to avoid a handshake. I've got a stabilized camera, but you know, I can go a little bit faster than that. And now I'm shooting with the Sony and I've got my exposure right in the middle, just about where I want it. And that looks good. 160 to the second. I'm shooting with a Sony 16 to 35 and I've got it at 16. And so I'm gonna line it up just right. I'm gonna try to balance, looking for my horizon line, making sure I'm not splitting the image perfectly, but I do wanna capture uh, just a nice amount of foreground that leads to that iconic El Capitan. And then just around the corner is Half Dome and we got Bridal Veil Falls off on the right as well. This looks good. We are
are on our last day, last hours of the McKay photography trip here in uh, Yosemite. Yep. Uh, Incredible place. It really is. Uh, you know, fantastic. I've seen lots of pictures of it, but it feels very different to experience this place in person. As you might imagine standing here at this tunnel view. View? Yes. Just incredible. I don't know, top top three spots in the world as far as like amazing scenics. I, it's hard to imagine. I've been some other very beautiful places, including the Grand Canyon. But there's something about the greens, the rocks, the water, uh, and the sky. Everything, everything is just gorgeous. Really nice place. We've had a great time photographing all the different bits of it, enjoying company here, and we're starting to wrap up. Yep. Yeah. So we are off to New Zealand in just a couple of weeks and we would love to know what all of you travel photographers and landscape photographers and any kind of photographers, any what would you guys like to know? What would you like us to uh, get footage of? What, what, what should we do? That's right. What tips and tricks would you like to hear more about as we travel and as we photograph on this trip? Big thanks to the McKays for having us along. It's been fantastic. Yes. And uh, we had that big, big announcement that should be out by now. So link to enter is right down below. Yep. We'll see you all again very soon.